In this video, I'll break down how to create this really clean match cut transition in Final Cut Pro 10. This is a very simple and very easy transition, and this video is going to break down step by step how to create this really clean transition. Now, once you're in Final Cut, what you want to do is you want to either import your still images, or you can go ahead and just take like screenshots from the actual video. So for this example, I just took screenshots from the Jack Harlow Stop Giving Me Advice uh, music video. Now for each of the images, you want them to have some sort of similar like shape or object. For example, as you can see in each one of these photos, there is a circular object that we're gonna go ahead and line the photos up so it matches. This could either be with like some sort of wording, a logo, or again a shape. Each of the images needs to have something in common or something similar. So you're basically like matching between, for example, different the different like circles or again, a different shape or a different, you know, logo or whatever. For example, I couldn't see, for example, all these have like circular objects. I couldn't use an image with a triangular object because a triangle and a circle are not the, the same shape. So again, really important, you need to find photos that have very similar objects. Now, what you really want to do when you take these photos or if you want to take the actual screenshots from a music video is you want to basically like shoot the photo or shoot the video, whatever, completely like straight. So you can see if this is a little bit of an angle and this was like angled this way they're on different like angles it would be really hard to match um, them up so for example say like this right here see this is on a little bit on an angle this is a little bit on an angle you want to kind of like shoot like straight on to really get the best transition so what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and drag one of these photos and just import it into the timeline so this is kind of like the starting image so what you want to do is have here to the view go to show horizon we want to select this image and we just basically want to center the image or something like this we want to drag it over you want to do your best to kind of just center um, the actual image so that should be pretty good we can adjust because see it's kind of just trial and error something like this maybe we want to increase the scale just a little bit I think that looks pretty good again there's no like right or wrong way to do this you're kind of just trying to get you're kind of trying to find whatever the starting image is you want that to be pretty much in the center and I think that's pretty good so that's kind of like our starting image so what you want to do is you want to find another image so let's say this image right here we're just going to drag it on top of the actual top of the actual clip right here what we want to do is we want this circular object right here so let's go ahead and just basically increase the scale right here so we'll go ahead and let's just disable this photo so as you can see the edges are kind of on these two right here so we're going to go ahead and just um, enable this right here and let's kind of scale this up until we get that circular image kind of right there as you can see that looks pretty good then we can go ahead and just disable this right here we could either go to the you can either go to the opacities right here, here if we want to increase the scale a little more drag this up something like this I think that looks pretty good let's go ahead and just disable the opacity so as you can see I think that let's try this again kind of trial and error so as you can see I think that looks I think that I think that's lined up um, pretty good as you see I think that's pretty good so we can go ahead and just minus that right here and let's place this over here so let's go ahead and kind of just kind of see what it actually looks like kind of in real time so you can see go ahead and I think I think that matches pretty well so as you can see if we can kind of like do a little more of a trial and error select this over here and this is just again a whole bunch of trial and error we want to move the Y over something like this and increase the scale and I think that looks a lot better so let's enable the opacity as you can see let's go ahead and take the opacity bring it down I think that's pretty good again you can kind of like do a trial and error but I think that's pretty well lined up so let's select this one right here and we're gonna go ahead and head over to the next one so we'll go ahead and let's try using this image right here let's go ahead and drag it onto the clip then we can go ahead and just increase it right here and kind of just mess with the position something like this so we can bring down the opacity something like this we can increase the um, actual scale until I think that does a pretty good job of kind of like messing it up. Now we'll go ahead, re-enable as you can see. I think that looks pretty good. Now you can either go over here and maybe try to put the image below this and actually like mess with the opacity of this one right here. So I think that's pretty good. Again, this is very much like kind of like a trial and error. So kind of mess with the position right here. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and take the opacity and drag it back up to 100. Now we can go ahead and select on this photo right here. And kind of just see what it looks like. I think that looks, as you can see, I think that matches 
um, pretty well. Now what we can do is you can go ahead and select on this next image and drag it on top of this image right here. And let's go ahead and kind of do the same thing. We can basically just increase the scale and adjust um, the position to be increased it a little more. Now what we can do is again, we can drop down the opacity and kind of get a rough estimate. I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, maybe we want to uh, decrease the scale a little bit. We can adjust the Y position. I, th I think that looks pretty per pretty well done. Now you can go through again and redo all of it if you think something looks a little bit off. But this is again very much of a trial and error. Select on this one, place it on top. Now we can go ahead and just increase the scale until we get it into the position that we like. Now I mess with the position right here. Let's bring down the opacity and try to like get a good idea of what this actually looks like. I think that looks pretty good. So see, here's the Coke bottle, and then I think that I think that looks pretty close. Now head over here. Now I'll select on the last two images, place them on top, and go through it here and increase the scale a little bit. Let's kind of get it into the position that we think looks the best. Maybe increase it something like this. If we want to increase the scale a little more to get it really what we want it to look like. Now let's go to the opacity and decrease the opacity and kind of get maybe we can increase the scale a little bit. So as you see, I think that we will adjust the position. Something like that should look pretty good. So as you see, I think that looks, yeah, I think that looks pretty close. Now I'll drag this over here. Now we can select on this next image, place it on top. Now we can go through and just kind of increase the scale to get it to the look that we want. So let's say we want to do like these like white outlines as kind of like the framing. Let's go ahead over here and decrease the opacity. And I think that looks pretty good. So there we go. Again, it might not be perfect. You can go through and mess with it to really make it look good. Now you can go over here to the horizon grids, go to view, and we can just turn off show horizon grids. So let's go ahead and kind of like see what this final result looks like. So let's go ahead and select all these photos and click on control D and let's go to like 10, uh, 10 frames and kind of see how that looks. So let's go ahead and kind of see what this clip looks like. I think that looks pretty good. As you see, these are pretty well matched together. Maybe we want to select them again, click on Control D, and we want to make it go even faster to seven frames. So let's go ahead and play this right here. And let's see, I think that looks pretty good. Now what we can do is we can select all these right here, click on um, Option G, and we'll just call this um, a Match Cut. You can name it. You can name the uh, compound clip, whatever you want. So let's do I mean, Match Cut. We'll just type in match cut. So now these are all grouped together. What we can do is we can place a keyframe on rotation, keyframe on, on scale, go to the end of it, go back one frame. Now we can increase it to something like maybe 130. And we can go ahead and just simply mess with the rotation. So you're basically having it scale up and rotate at the same time. So we can go through and play the clip right here. As you see, see, I think that looks really cool. That's a really clean match cut transition. So you can see, I think that looks really cool. And they could also add some motion blur. So go over here. We could add some moderate motion blur, something like that. Should look pretty good. We could add a little bit of blur if you want. So you can add some um, blur onto the actual effect right there. So we go ahead and play it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be like super blur because we didn't increase it um, that much. But as you can see, I think that looks really cool. This really clean transition. Now you can also head over here to to the actual blur section, and we can go to radio blur and select it, apply it onto the compound clip, and now we can basically just like adjust the amount. So you can have this really cool like radio blur. So if you want a little bit of like blur, and then you can kind of like just basically adjust where the blur is happening. So we play it right here. Now you have, we go over to loop it. Now you have this really clean match cut transition. As you can see, there's a little bit of a black bar right here. So all you want to basically do is go over here to the rotation and maybe decrease the rotation a little bit so it's only at eight. So you see, now there's no more of those black edges. So we can go through and you're just kind of like messing with everything. There you go. Now you have this really clean match cut transition that I just think looks really cool. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. Hopefully you can take these really cool ideas and make some really clean match cut transitions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to buy some really cool plugins and presets and overlays for Final Cut, check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. 
I'll see you in the next one. Peace.